Hello, this is Mike Lively, and this is the fourth video on comparing Unreal 3 to Paper Vision and pulling aspects of it into the Paper Vision engine. And now we're moving on to Sky Domes today. So I just want to show you some really quick shortcuts in uh, Unreal. And you know, I re I'm really big on shortcuts. You'll see me using them all the time. And here's a real simple one. We'd already showed you earlier that there are certain gizmos up here. We actually have a pointer and uh, translation, rotation, sizing, and let's show you how to actually basically navigate between those. So if you're working on an application, all you have to really do is hit the space bar and that will take you from application to application. You can see we've got translation, we have rotation, and we have resizing. And that could be very helpful as opposed to having a click up there, you just hit the space bar and it moves you to the next one that you might want to use. So we're often using translation, rotation, or resizing, and here's a way to basically just tab through them using the space bar. Okay, that's pretty good. Now another thing you can do that's very useful is to use the full screen option. So we're in this mode right here and say we want full screen. So this roll over here and I'm going to open this up just a little bit and we see this little option right here. That's full screen. That's maximized viewport. Click that and now you're in a maximized viewport. Another thing that you can do that might be useful is to go ahead and click this tear off and you actually can have a separate copy that you're working with. You can move around the screen and that's pretty cool as well. So let's get out of that and now let's move on to making our sky dome. So what we're going to do in this video is that we're going to add a floor and it's not going to work right so we're going to add a terrain. We're going to add a sky dome and the way we're going to do that we're going to go to the browser content, select a sky dome and then right click on the floor and add the actor with static mesh. So let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically just make a flat version of my uh, brush here so I can actually uh, make a floor out of it and then we're going to put a sky box on it. So let's come along here and right click on this box right here and let's go 2048 and we'll make the other one 2048 and 8. Okay, got a nice little uh, floor there, build it and come along here and click on add CG and there's your floor and you can use the left button to translate along the floor or the right button to rotate it up and down. There you go, we're doing pretty good. And now we're actually going to just go ahead and add a light. Right click on the floor and go to add actor and add light. We got a nice little point light there and uh, we can go ahead and hit that tab bar and translate to our translation tools. Let's bring that up a little bit. Hit that gizmo and pull it up. And we can actually move that over a little bit so you can move that around the floor. There we go. Using those gizmos, remember we got RGB, which stands for XYZ. So here's the red is the X, G is green, which is Y, and Z is blue. Okay, we've got our light added. Now what we want to do is go ahead and add a material. So bring up the content browser and just drag and drop the material right onto uh, the stage. So we got a little uh, uh, cool material here, and we grab this little floor. The first one, we just grab and drop it, and now we have a different uh, material on that floor. And what we want to do now is add a sky dome. So that's pretty easy to do. We're going to go to once again the content browser. You can see this little button up here is content browser. So go ahead and click on that. And we've talked about that in earlier videos. And our content browser has come up, and now we're going to navigate to uh, basically come down here and hit UT Game Content. And there's a nice little uh, set of uh, environmental examples. Here's an example content. Click on that. And in that there's a sky dome. I'm going to click on that. But I don't want to drag that over. I actually want to bring that in another way. So we're going to right click on the stage. We're going to go to add actor. And we're going to load that static mesh there. And let's add the static mesh. And that should do it for us. Let's see if we see the sky dome. And there's a sky dome all around us. And at this point what I want to do is go ahead and build everything and then we're going to run it and see if there's any problems. You're going to see there's actually going to be some issues, especially with this black space right here. i got some spacing here and it's not going to match up right here at this uh, horizon and we're going to fix that. So let's go to run the program. A uh, real easy way to do that is just go ahead and build light. Uh, take off the light mass. We can close that. We can actually go to build all paths as well and that's the button right up here. Build all. I could click that and uh, it would have built as well. So what we're going to do right now is just right click on the stage and hit uh, play from here. So I want to point out to you that this looks okay, but there's a problem. And the problem is with this horizon, just as I said, there's this little black thing here. See that? There's a little black spacing right here. It's just a mess. I could have actually extended my uh, platform here to fit the entire screen, but even if I'd done that, I would still have this little gap right here, and that gap is a problem. So the way this is commonly handled in Unreal is to build a barrier around here so you actually can't see over the wall and see this black space. So what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to go to terrain mode and we're going to build a terrain with mountains all around it and you won't be able to see this little black